Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Daniel Perez versus Victor Altamirano. Daniel Perez is 16 and 6, 4 and 1 in his last 5 fights. Lost his last matchup against Jafel Filio. And Daniel Perez had a good moment in that first round. A minus 105, basically a pick on fight. 35 years old, which is a little, little old for 125. 5'6 with a 66 inch reach, fighting Victor Altamirano, who's 12 and 4, 2 and 3 in his last five fights. Two losses against Tim Elliott, which was decently close. And then Felipe Dos Santos, which Victor Altamirano absolutely won that fight. Minus 115, again, slightly more of a favorite uh, from Mexico, 33 years old, 5'8 with a 70 inch reach, 2 inches in height, and a 4 inch reach advantage for Victor Altamirano. Now, if you look at at this average fight time is nine minutes a little over nine minutes for daniel perez and a little over 13 minutes for victor altamirano victor is not much of a finisher even though on his record it would show six finishes out of his 12 wins you know in the ufc he has two wins one by finish one by decision he's lost three decisions he's a decision guy now he was able to finish daniel uh, lacerdo who he hurt with some big shots actually got caught in that matchup if i'm correct also by Lucerta, but yeah, um, not much of a finisher in the UFC. Now, Daniel Perez, even though he did have good moments against Jafel Filio, he has 13 finishes out of his 16 wins. He's been to decision six times and being 50-50 in those. One, one unanimous and two split slash majority decisions. Lost two unanimous and lost a split decision. So again, Fought Carlos Hernandez actually <clears throat> in the contender series back in 2021. Won a bunch of four fights in a row, finishes, and then fought Filio. Had good moments early and then was submitted. So, again, uh, this matchup is fun. It, it, it just is. This matchup is fun. You look at it, and this is what I like. For Berez, so strikes landed per minute is 3.880 to 4.55. Accuracy is 53 to 57 for Altamoreno. Absorb is 5.32 to 3.70. Defense 55 to 54. Here's where it's interesting. Right here. Okay. Average for a 15 minute fight is 4.7 to 3.43. Basically, like you get a takedown, I get a takedown. I mean, it's, you know, accuracy is 31 to 39. Takedown defense is 91 to 63. Here's where it's interesting. Right here in the two fights. Okay. Um, submission average for 15 minutes 1.6 to 0 for Carlos not Carlos Hernandez I'm reading this right here <laughs> Victor Altamirano so again I think it's striking against the grappling of Perez I think the striking of Perez is actually pretty decent he does throw a lot right here but I do think the power of Victor Altamirano um, is the, the difference in this matchup now he was taken down a crap load against Tim Elliott. He can't do that in this matchup. I like Victor Altamirano in this one. I think his, his power and his awkward striking actually gets him the win. I think he actually finishes Daniel Perez. But, but, if if Victor Altamirano's takedown defense, it says takedown defense is 63%. So again, that's why it's interesting. Interesting. But again, he has the better takedown defense. Altamirano has a better takedown offense, but his takedown defense is 63 with a 31% accuracy for Perez. I do think he's a decent decent um, submission guy as well. Six wins by submission. Four of them in the first round. Has been submitted three times in his career as well. But again, he has some power in his hands. He has nine first round finishes where Victor Moreno, Victor Altamirano doesn't really, again, he's not really a finisher, but I do like him. I think he has the power in his hand um, to get the win. Again, it's it's really depending on these three stats right here for Daniel Perez. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you're picking. Put your comments down below. Let me know where your predictions are for this card. I'm getting through all of them. And as always, peace.